My dear YouTubers. You asked me once if I told you everything that was known about my adventures. I can only say I told you the truth. But I might not have told you all of it. Today, this is the story of the greatest adventure of my life. A friendship. Family. And greatness. For long ago, in the land of Equestria, our world was the most beautiful yet. Filled of prosperous love and friendship. For this kingdom was ruled by the most grandest castle of all Equestria, Erebor. The home of myself, Twilight, and my incredible family. Built by my mother Celestia and my father Nauticon. There, we ruled Equestria with love and friendship. It was a peaceful time. All, all paid homage to me and my family. All knew the true magic of friendship. It was a beautiful life. Twilight and I ruled with kindness, love, compassion, and friendship. As we continued to love, we continued to build deeper. Our family, as our family grew, so did Erebor. Until one day, we found it. The source of harmony. We knew it was a sign the tree of harmony still lived on, and it found a new way to live as our symbol of hope. All knew this power of friendship. It was forged into a great crown for Twilight as the queen. However, as we found the source of harmony, darkness came upon us. Great forms of darkness started to cover the land. I prepared for the worst. For with darkness comes a dangerous of foes. And knowing there were still villains out there, it wouldn't be too long. Armies of darkness cover the land. For soon, dark forces had thrown a fate forces attack. Fox and her villains have grown quite new powerful since the last few times we faced them off. But we stood our ground. The mountains stood proud and strong. No villain could ever take down this great fortress. Unfortunately, Equestria suffered. Not a single bit of life was spared. The darkness continued to spread across the land. No one was spared mercy. Hope was beginning to fade as darkness continued to cover the land. Not even the Tree of Harmony could stop this. But no matter how many villains tried to attack Erebor, they were no match for the armies of Erebor that were locked inside.
we fought our hardest and our hardest until finally we drove off every last villain in the forces of darkness. Captain Fox was defeated. Finally. But Equestria was lost. The land was destroyed. Not a single bit of life was left. Knowing what has happened, as my first act as king of what's left of Equestria, we locked ourselves in that airborne, hoping that if anyone survived, they knew where to come for safety. From that day forth, Erebor became a sanctuary for all those who had suffered during this great apocalypse. All were given new lives, all were given new lives in Erebor to keep, to keep Equestria strong. My family was no longer a family or subjects that served the king and queen. From that day forth, we were the last of Equestria. As long as we lived, Equestria lived on. But always I remember the screams of horror, the loss of everyone suffering at the hands of darkness. From that day on, I knew that Unicorn was out there, and I wouldn't rest until he paid.